Here are 100 profiles of new employees, which need to be made into recruitment notices. If you are the HR of this company, how would you do that? The mail merge function allows you to handle these 100 notices easily. Take this document as an example. We need to input employees' names, entry time, department, position, and salary. Open the table that contains the information of new employees. The information of the five columns will be inserted as merge fields. For convenience, we set the table headers as name, entry time, department, position, and salary. Then press Ctrl S to save the document. Go back to the Word document, head to the Reference tab, click Mail Merge, click the Open Data Source drop down button, and choose Open Data Source. Find the table file of Employees information. Select it and click Open to insert the data source. Tips If the error message occurs, change the suffix of the table name to XLS. Now we need to insert all merge fields into the document. Select the position where you need to insert merge field. For example, to insert the name column, select the text name highlighted in the document and click Insert Merge Field in the Mailings tab to pop up a dialog. Select Database Fields at Insert and Name at Fields, then click Insert. You can insert the fields of Entry Time, Department, Position, and salary following the same steps. Then there are two ways to produce documents. 1. Merge to different new document. Click Merge to different new document to pop up a dialog, where we can choose the name of the document at Use Field Name. Set a document type as Save as Type, and set the file location. Select All, and click OK to produce 100 different new notices. 2. Merge to New Document Click Merge to New Document to pop up a dialog. Click All and click OK to merge all the notices to a new document. This is the method of generating documents in batches with the Merge Mail function. Did you get it?